Tired of the standard Fortnite look? Do you want your island to truly stand out amongst the hundreds of Fortnite islands on Discovery? Welcome to the art of foliage in Unreal Editor for Fortnite. We'll crack the code on how to add custom foliage and trees, paint landscapes with vibrant flora, and breathe life into every corner of your world. This is no ordinary planting guide. We're talking advanced techniques, hidden features, and the power to craft truly immersive maps that will leave players speechless. So grab your imagination and prepare to transform your barren island into a paradise. It's time to master the magic of foliage in Unreal Editor for Fortnite. First, go to the Foliage folder, which is located in the Fortnite folder and within the Environment folder. Next, open Foliage Mode within the Viewport. To use the Foliage tool and enable Foliage Mode, click the Foliage option in the Selection Mode drop-down menu, or use the hotkey Shift and 3. This will open the Foliage panel. At this point, we can drag a single or multiple static meshes from the Foliage folder into the Foliage tool Mesh List, or click the Foliage Plus button beside the search bar in the Foliage palette. Then select Static Meshes from the drop-down menu. You'll then be prompted to save a foliage asset file for the static mesh. Something to note, you can add more than just trees, grass, or plants to the foliage mesh list. You can add any type of static mesh to the foliage library mesh list. Additionally, foliage mode works with imported static meshes as well. That said, unfortunately, foliage mode does not work with blueprint props or Fortnite props, because Fortnite props have blueprint scripting attached to them. With your mesh or meshes added to the mesh list, select the Paint tool from the Tools palette. Make sure Landscape and or Static Meshes is selected in the Filters palette. Then left-click and drag over the Landscape or Static Mesh area you want your foliage to populate with the selected foliage in the mesh list. The paint settings determine the distribution and number of static foliage meshes applied to the terrain when painting. You can paint with a single or more than one mesh at a time. Additionally, you can increase or decrease the size of your brush and the brush density using the brush options. Alternatively, you can use the hotkeys open and closed square brackets to increase or decrease your brush size. Brush density controls how densely foliage is placed within the painted area. If there is a mesh in your mesh list that you don't want to paint with in a certain area or throughout your scene, uncheck its thumbnail in the mesh list. When a mesh is checked or unchecked, it is enabled or disabled for all the tools in the tool palette. Speaking of which, let's go over the functions of the different foliage mode tools in the tools palette. The select tool allows you to select an individual or a set of painted foliage static meshes. While selected, you can duplicate, move, rotate, or scale your selections, just like you would for any other asset. The all tool selects all static meshes in your project applied with the Foliage Mode tool. The Deselect tool deselects all static meshes in your project applied with Foliage Mode. The Invalidate tool automatically selects invalid foliage instances. Invalid foliage is foliage that are not aligned to a surface and are hovering above it. This helps prevent from having floating foliage above your terrain. The Lasso tool allows you to quickly and easily select multiple meshes. The Repaint tool allows you to adjust the applied setting of a foliage mesh in the Foliage Details section. You can then use the Repaint tool to paint the new settings onto the foliage meshes. The Single tool paints a single instance of the foliage in a single place. Keep in mind, if there are multiple static meshes checked in your foliage mesh list, they will all be applied at the same spot when the Single tool is selected. The Fill tool fills all of a targeted area of terrain with the foliage you have checked. 
The Erase tool erases all of the selected foliage. You can uncheck or check selected foliage you want to keep or erase from the scenery if you don't want to erase all foliage. And the Remove tool removes all the selected foliage from the terrain. At this point, you've planted the seeds of epic Fortnite landscapes, breathing new life into your maps. However, to create truly lush forest and stunning landscapes, you'll need more than just the very limited pre-packaged plants. So in our next video, we'll unlock the true power of the foliage system by cracking the code of bringing in and setting up your own created, purchased, or downloaded 3D assets into UEFN. Don't miss out on the rest of this epic journey. To unlock the full potential of Unreal Editor for Fortnite, hit that subscribe button and smash that notification bell. Let's create epic landscapes together. And if you have any questions, suggestions, or just want to share your map creations, leave a comment below. We're always listening.